so I just finished doing uh, I just finished doing that video about exploring different um, different sections of the rep different kind of segments of range of motion right it's an, an extremely cool technique and it's, it's a little bit more of a nuanced technique when you're talking about training okay and there's things like drop sets there's things like supersets there's things like carb cycling when it comes to dieting there's things like intermittent fasting blah 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 you know there's a lot of different nuanced details that you can start adding in but i want to make i want to warn you when any of these things start to come up and you start to discuss these things what about density training what about german volume training blah, blah, blah. none of this should be even considered until you get really good and spend an exhaustive amount of time just getting good at the basics okay seriously um because unlike uh a lot of things in life but like like most things that are really difficult physique training and and strength training it gets a lot harder as you get better at it, it gets a lot, it, it just gets harder it gets harder to uh receive results positive results the results you're seeking um why would anyone want negative results <laughs> it's a lot easier to get injured so that's you have that going for you um no but as you get better as you get leaner it's a lot harder to keep getting leaner as you get stronger it's a lot harder to get stronger okay the the, the margins at to which you can improve are, are so much more difficult to get to okay in in any part of like changing the way you look and the way you feel and, and the way you perform uh, as you get faster and believe me to shave a millisecond off of his hundred meter dash for Usain Bolt is is in worlds more difficult than it would be for me to shave off a full second okay that because I am not a very good sprinter but I can put some work into it and change you know my routine and I probably see some pretty good results for him to see even a, a, a minuscule amount of results uh, a positive kind of benefit from his training it, it, it's it's exhaustive okay so you need to you know I you can look at that shoulder workout I did in the previous video I put up uh, and that's cool and all but unless you've spent a lot of time getting exhaustively good at overhead pressing uh, don't worry about it don't worry about it okay um, when you're when you start guys when you start getting closer to 15% body fat it's gonna get so much harder to lose more which is start like getting closer to 10 and seeing your abs pop and everything women when you start getting under 20 when you start getting into the teens it's gonna get so much harder it is and I'm not saying that to discourage anyone I'm just saying that to let you know that that's the time when you start to explore uh, different more elaborate techniques if you're 30 for 30 percent body fat dudes and and ladies you know 35 plus like don't worry about shit other than just get in there consistently okay and eat better eat less move more trust me that's all you need to be focusing on right now you also don't want to burn yourself out there's there's a fatigue that comes out uh, that is exclusive to your actual physical fatigue and that is the psychological and emotional fatigue decision fatigue right it's hard to pick out the right outfit if your closet's too cramped. Uh, the same thing goes here. Um, so anyway, there you go.